Hello folks, this is the Two Drink Minimum Commentaries. I am one of your hosts, Gary Hill. With me as usual is Cameron. Hello, hello. How the hell are you? Fine, man. Doing fine. How are you? Better, better than them. I'm doing better than that, uh, that, that that lady in the sadness. Holy shit balls. Fucking eye, eye trauma, then rape, you know? Yeah. Yeah, eye just rape. <laughs> eye rape, uh, vaginal rape, uh, what, what else? There's, there's all kinds of rape in that movie. Did, uh, yeah, I'm better than anybody that, that lived through that movie. But uh, spoilers, if you, if you haven't seen the film, um, there's a scene where they're gleefully dry humping each other. They're having a good time, I think. Yeah. You know. During that one scene, I think they they were, but everybody else was not having a good time. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> and with us also is Kyle. How you doing, sir? Oh, I'm good. I just came back from Walmart. I'm going to be quoting Stephen Machette all night long. You get no guarantees with a drifter. <laughs> I, I I expect nothing was. College boy. College boy. From the proprietor of Blood Bass and Boomsticks, it's uh, Spookies, Stephen Bichette. Uh, what else I'm missing here? It's, it's, it's... Oh, Stephen Bichette was in Spookies. I think I shit my pants. <laughs> <laughs> I never said he was, but you, I'm, I'm sure you, your wettest of dreams, he, he would be in there. Yeah. Yes. The podcast <laughs> built on Spookies and Graveyard Shift. Stunt casting in Spookies with Kyle Poling. Mm-hmm. <laughs> A boy can dream, Bichette people. plays all the characters. Oh, by the way, we never done spookies in this show, so it's a definite possibility. Just throwing it out Fuck there. Yes. <laughs> but the movie we're doing tonight, and I'm, I'm going to give you a, a fair warning. This was Cameron's idea to say, "Hey, isn't there a sequel to Gore? We should do that." And you know, so this is terrible. We're just going to stick it on him for a while. Yeah. Let it hang there. Like wanted to see it. Let, let it let, let it hang there like a, a filthy umbrella out of an Asian girl's eyeball. It just uh... <laughs> oh, oh. I gotta go take another shower. Sorry. But I guarantee you there's not going to be anything nearly as disgusting in this movie as there was in that movie. No, haven't haven't seen it, but I can guarantee it. Them Koreans they can do gross zombie shit. The only ones doing it right. <laughs> This is a harder film to find. I, I, I had a harder time finding this film, uh, a VHS rip of it. So if you guys could find it and you want to watch it with us, I have no YouTube link for this. So um, you can listen to us talk about the film. We're going to do that in three, two, one, and go. Eh, Canon films, market quality. Canon. Oh, man, this is some VHS. <laughs> look, look, at, look at it bouncing. It, this, this is like a... Old school bootleg it's stuff. Right now, baby. It's like people saying, "Oh, twerking." It's like people talk about the about Scream Factory putting out the Doctor Strange movie from the, the TV movie from the seventies or whatever it was. Oh, I have a shitty, shitty copy. Of I I know everybody does. People are like, "Oh, it's so stupid." Blah blah blah. Like, you realize how much a big deal that was in, in the the Comic Con scene? You know? Yeah. <laughs> stupid. I, I would love to watch a clean up copy of it and just say, "Hey, this is kind of bad, but it looks nice." Out. It's kind of like that old Roger Corman, uh, you know, uh, Fantastic Four movie. It's horrible, but you got to see it. It is the best Fantastic Four film, though. It is. Oh, that's not yeah. a oh, high bar. <laughs> you got Doctor Doom and, and and the Mole Man in that movie. Come on, man. All right, prediction: oh. Will Jack Palance have less or more screen time in this movie? I'm oh, gonna say he's got four minutes fifty seconds. Yep. No Arnold Vosloo. No guy from Demons in this one? What the fuck? No, I think it's the same guy. Oh, is it? Okay. Same same uh, principal actors. Except for, uh... Yeah, no, no, um... No Ollie Reed, obviously, because he died last movie. No Paul Smith? No Paul Smith either. I'm out. I, got... <laughs> I ain't no fucking sign up for this shit. And that's been your two-drink minimum commentaries. It's been, been nice talking to you. Yeah. yeah, minute 30 seconds in. But directed by John Bud Cardos. Yes. <laughs> she's wearing stockings and an overcoat that's my kind of girl right there yeah she's got a jaw like a lantern <laughs> oh shit man she tried to haymaker Rick Moranis right there <laughs> <laughs> hey by the way can I hit that yeah, uh, so he, much awkward, 
He, he looks more like Eugene Levy in Club Paradise. Yep. <laughs> Holy shit, it's the guy from Mr. Show that I don't know his name. <laughs> <laughs> he's not Bob or David, he's another guy. No, he's one of the other dudes. <laughs> that guy's wearing a shirt that says Crispy on it. That boy ain't got no bra. <laughs> well, there's that. So this is what Italians think American nightlife is. Oh yeah, let a girl oh, dance. I dig it. See, that's that's the girl I want to marry right there. The girl that's dancing by herself way too early in the evening. Yeah. the because the frat boy has no interest. <coughs> so that is the guy from the first movie. Yep. Into, he's got oh, the. Oh. He's got the ring. He's got the, he's got the glowing ring. Car. Glowing rock, baby. Yeah. This is how you get to gore. The ring flashes. You hit a tree head on in a car, and then presto, you're in gore. <laughs> you know, the signs of sound. Yeah. He's having flashbacks. See, that guy should have been Dennis Hopper. I, I didn't say it last episode, but let me tell you. Yeah, they got that chewed up piece of bubble gum that they're all worshiping. Nair a booby in the first movie. Oh, Tiny Owen, though. if Tiny Owen doesn't show up in this movie, very Tiny upset. Tiny Owen, <laughs> Nugget better come back. <laughs> dropping people the fucking pile driver fucking people's necks up he could be the the Tracy Walter of this movie <laughs> <laughs> which is one of the other which is one of the other reasons to watch Conan the Destroyer is Tracy Walter yep. be like oh it's fun about that time I went to gore <laughs> <laughs> yeah it's good man God, he is the love child, those two, though. Rick Moranis and Eugene yeah. Levy. That dude looks like if a burp was a human. <laughs> <laughs> like a three Pepsi burp. He's <laughs> gained sentency. There's nothing wrong with there's nothing wrong with this guy's, but that guy with the girl, he, he just seemed really impressed, unimpressed right there. And I hope Tubby goes to Gore. <laughs> dude looks like a, if a kid. You know, Colin Pollock grew up and became a real boy. Yeah, he's like a walking hemorrhoid. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he's like, you can't get sh Curtis Armstrong, so you get shitty Curtis Armstrong. <laughs> and then this guy's not even that good as shitty Curtis Armstrong. Yeah, they couldn't afford, afford Booger, so they just got snot. Yeah. But, but see, there, there's no such thing as shitty Curtis Armstrong. I just need to get him and, him and James Hong together at a convention before I die. Before James Hong passes away, I don't want to, I don't want to jinx that, but you know. So I tried to go see that movie, Everything, Everywhere, All at Once, but it's out of the theater because I heard that James Hong and Data, and, and yeah, there is in it, and I was like, oh, I need to see this shit now, and everybody's freaking out over it. I just, it's it's his first acting role in forever. Yeah, it's a, oh, presto, they wrecked the car, they're in Gore. <laughs> well. Yes, Tubby made it to Gore. He's got to bring his buddy to Gore. Well, it's a sequel. you got to have a fucking sidekick, you know. you got to break your glasses while you're in Gore. That's how this movie works. I predict those glasses will be broken like 12 minutes flat. I just remember that nobody wears pants in Gore. I'm not <laughs> sure Tubby should have showed up in Gore. <laughs> <clears throat> Do you think car insurance covers travel to Gore? Because he probably crashed that car into a tree. That was a way better car than he crashed. That was like a, a Chevelle or something he crashed. Yeah, that was like a Chevelle. That or first a one, I think he wrecked a fucking Vespa into the goddamn tree. It was like, uh, State Farm Insurance, uh, what happened to your car, sir? It fucking crashed into a tree. What happened to you? Um, you're fine, sir. Uh, I went to Gore. Because, you know, if the ring, the ring starts glowing and my dick starts growing, i got to go to Gore. That's how it works. <laughs> <laughs> That's my second sword. He's reminiscent about mi minor, you know, adventures in Gore. That time we went from one cave to the other cave <laughs> in Gore and nobody had pants on. <laughs> and they taught me how to use a bow and arrow. 
Yeah, and I was really good after three tries. Well, so that's all it takes, you know. It's like throwing those ninja stars from the flea market. No, I haven't noticed it's getting warm. We're in the fucking desert, dude. You know, snot is really great at fucking walking down fucking hills. Yeah. Considering. He doesn't seem like the 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 D, the dune fairing type. Hey, look, there's horses. It's like, who is this guy in these foreign clothes? Hey, what's his name? Is back that has a weird name from around here. Oh wait, they got pants now. Hey, they've they, evolved. They, they've evolved, yes. <laughs> They got pants and fancy shoes on. Oh, come on, Snot. Get the fuck up. Do you think it was since Oliver Reed was, like, ruler of Gore, do you think that was a decree he passed down? Like, no one in Gore shall wear pants. And then he died, so everybody put pants on. Well, didn't he get fired from at least one move for showing his dick to a female actress for no reason? Oh, I'm sure that's been... (laughs) It's Oliver Reed. That's probably, like, everything. Oh, he stabbed him in the armpit. See, now you're just going to murder people for no reason. You just, you don't tell them who you are. Okay, start the hip toss yep. check now. Well, see, he's, he's better at it now. See, so he must have did some training in the off season. Oh, one. Oh. Come on, fireman's carry. Hip toss, hip toss. Snap bear, hip toss. Gore is the man of a thousand and two oh, holes. give him the fucking elbow. That guy's done for. Judo chop. Oh, not Rick Moranis. Watch out for that giant fucking wooden sword that guy's got. Jesus. He just did the the, the lariat old school style. Yeah, thing he did. Let's give him some he judo elbows. That guy. That's how you do it? Get off him, bitch. Now this is your lover from the from the first movie, Bradley. Oh damn, he's got deadly elbows. That was a female, too. Just fucking chopping bitches. What's going on here? The rocket's going on. He's a chewed up hubba bubba. He got better clothes this time around, too. He's got a metal dicky on. Hello, oh, Jack Powell. Hey, Palance. Hey, there he is. Coming in at the 9 minutes and 51 second mark. Let's see, they got a fancy robot and they go sailing with that anchor on there. He's like, my mama made it. We're going to put his three minutes at the beginning of the movie instead of the end. I see. Don't don't touch that Palantir there, Saruman. That's bad news. Hey, look, little gore children. Gorelings. <laughs> They're gorelings. <laughs> yes, indeed. <laughs> this, like this, is, backyard. <laughs> this is going to be like a situation in the Suicide Squad where they just murdered their whole support yeah. chef squad, you know? Sorry, guys. Which was a brilliant move in that movie. <clears throat> I know what. I didn't like it so much the first time, but that second time I watched James Gunn's The Suicide Squad, I really enjoyed it. That's pretty good. Like you, throw, you throw Pete Davidson in something, I'm going to make you want to kill myself anyway, so. I'm glad he didn't make it through the end. I'm glad he didn't make it through the end. This is true, he died yeah, real he was, fast. He was the first one to die. It was the way it should have been. Is that outfit made of metal or something? Right all up in her business. Look, they're wearing pants without wearing pants, those ladies. Amazing. <laughs> you got to shelf them legs, man. She got the it's goods. Like they got that Prince butt out jeans. <laughs> All right, dog. Yes. There. What's with this star thing on his head? What is that? Looks like he's a new bird. the little starfish things from Farm Suicide Squad. Yes. He killed one and put it on his forehead. (laughs) 
I have a newborn baby, so you go on said. Cabot. She got fancy boots. She got the Jane Fonda boots. Oh, uh, yeah, man. It looks like they're in that haunted house ride from Ghoulies 2. <laughs> Jack Palance over here inventing meth. <laughs> <laughs> I am the one who knocks. Imagine that Walter White voice and his voice, you know. This is that good shit. Can't get this shit on the streets. I got that shit that set them Arabs off. <laughs> Arabs from Turkey? <laughs> I pick up some throwing down. They, they, they invented makeup, too, apparently, in gore. Looks like Jack Pellens, like got shot with a BB in the face. <laughs> Maybe he did. <laughs> I got I some... Just realized, huh? Jack Pellens is the poor man's Chuck Connors. Yeah, you're, you're not wrong about that. Now imagine the rifleman if he if he had a sidekick and that was Jack Palance. That'd be something I'd watch. I watched the early uh I watched the early rifleman and Dennis Hopper shows up on there, he's pretty badass. <laughs> that guy looks like Sam Raimi got fucking food poisoning <laughs> <laughs> hey wait there's my gore whore right there see <laughs> we didn't get the plow last time but boy howdy this time around anything gore needs is a sex montage uh, a la silent rage But children, if you haven't seen Silent Rage, you don't know what a Chuck Norris sex montage is? You'll find out. <laughs> right. That's, that's really not a practical piece of headgear that guy's got on. <laughs> Are you trying to put a shirt on with that? Fuck. You can put an eye with that thing, yeah. too. Probably his own eye. Yeah, man. Terrible. Like, dude, what is that shit on your forehead? That is the best looking plywood castle I've ever seen. Oh, yeah. It totally looks like one of those things at your county fair that's like one minute it's a trailer, and then you come back half a day later and it's a haunted house. Right, it right. Just unfolds in presto. <laughs> built, built by love and, and putty. Yeah. yeah. It's just lacking the fucking sweet airbrush. It's fueled by meth. Look at the chaps these girls are wearing. I told you, man, they're wearing pants without wearing pants. Getting shaved with a blade over there. Get it in. Get it in with the harm girls. Oh, if I had the license for the music, I'd just start play pumping Are You Ready for the Sex Girls from Revenge of the Nerds. <laughs> oh, they're doing some Coming to America shit now. All they need is a fat guy to come out and sing about being the queen to be. Like shitty running man right here. <laughs> yeah. Well, they have more floor space than this. Pyro. Sub Zero. <laughs> Gone. Hey, light bulb. What does he call light bulb? A dynamo. Hey, Christmas tree. <laughs> hey, Christmas tree. <laughs> yeah, how about the light? This is uh, last year's winners. Wait, where did you go? No, they Whitman weren't. Price and Haddad. Whitman, Price and Haddad. No, when she finds her fucking burnt corpses. <laughs> she last goes, year's losers. They was last year's winners. Fucking Jim, Jim Brown just comes flying in on his fucking jetpack. 
I just saw Jim Brown in the background, I think. <laughs> he had his Mars tax gear on and everything. Whoa, now that gear head this gear. Holy shit, son. See, they had a bigger budget with this one. The, the wardrobe is top notch. Is this a Winorski joint? I'm smelling a Winorski. No, right here. John Bud Carlos. I think I figured, I figured we did, but it sounds like something I uh, I should look up real fast. <laughs> there's Winorski stink on this. I'm telling you. Well, I'm not saying there's not, but then again, Death Stalker Two is better than Death Stalker One. So, mm-hmm. and I just watched you turn the swamp thing today, and it was fucking delightful. I'm just getting big. Big Winorski vapors here. <laughs> you get the vapors? Yep. Yeah, I, caught, I caught the stench of the Winorski. That woman has. Hey, uh, he she looks. Things over his boobs. <laughs> he looks weird or shaved. Tia Carrere? No? Vanity? P- possibly Sheila E. You get lots of palace just scowling in this movie. They must have had him for two days on this one. <laughs> yeah. That's how you make that dollar. They upgraded his paycheck from a ham sandwich to a hamburger. <laughs> He's there for two days. <laughs> oh, extremely. Yeah. I've never seen a skinny and a fat guy at the same time until now. <laughs> he's that like, apparently just now doesn't need his glasses at all. <laughs> he's deflated Joe Pizzer. No, I'm sorry. John, John Bud Cardos gave us Kingdom of the Spiders, The Dark, The Day the Time Ended, uh, Mutant with One Wings Hauser. I remember that one for sure. And Kingdom of the Spiders. Yeah, what a skeleton coast. Skeleton coast. During the Angola Civil War, CIA agent Michael Smith is captured by the communists, prompting a rescue mission organized by his father, aided by hired mercenaries. That's got Ernest Borgnine, Robert Vaughn, Oliver Reed, Herbert Lum. Oh, who else is in this movie? Leon Isaac Kennedy. P- Peter Kwong from Big Trouble in Little China and Never Too Young to Die. And look, Arnold Vosloo's in that movie, too. Fuck yeah, it sounds like a jam, dude. <laughs> We're about to find this one too. Tiny hey, Owen! Yes. Yeah, he's back, oh, y'all. <laughs> yes, you are welcome. Oh, yeah. Did you bring friends, Tiny Owen? <laughs> no, he's got a cape. No Tiny Jim the Amble Nightheart. Shit. <laughs> now he's got a cape, goddammit. So there are gems in the John Bud Cardo's, um, Fucking filmography. What is act of piracy? Ooh, where are we at here? All hail gore. Yeah. Well, this this is a movie called Act of Piracy, in which Ted, uh, his Gary, uh, yeah, Gary Busey plays a father whose family gets kidnapped by terrorists, and he has to go rescue them. Also, start your own Roslew. Is he wearing Dolph Lundgren's armor from He Man? Oh, could be. God, they might have borrowed it. That looks damn close, doesn't it? Yeah, if you ever seen Thor Patrol, if you guys ever seen Kingdom of the Spiders, listeners, uh, you're you're oh. mistreating yourself. <laughs> it's a wonderful movie. William Shatner just getting bit for cinema. <laughs> it's like I will walk into that spider web full of tarantulas with with fangs. No stuntman required. Makes you wonder how many times they got bit on that shit. Oh, he got bit a lot. Of, he got paid so much per bite. <laughs> you know? Isn't it like with tarantulas, you don't have to worry about their bite, but it's like their hair that shoots off and gets all over you and it's bad? I don't know. Oh, he's getting it in now, man. I, I know they got big fangs. What do I know about? I'm not shattered. He's just covering his dick. That's all he's doing right now.
Come on, one more time. Just just the tip. Come on, man. That's what he's doing right now. This fucking guy. God damn this dude. I want to like this guy. Just can't. <laughs> Deflated Joe Piscopo sucked. <laughs> Shrunken Joe Piscopo. It's like they took the air out of Joe Piscopo. How, how are you gonna? This has to be suspect guy. I'm just throwing it out there. Look, he's got the sweet airbrush haunted house shit inside of his thing, man. They put it on the inside, not the he's, outside. He's got a sweet chest pillow going on and everything, but um. He's got that sweet bit of water going down his chest, pubes. To his ball, bro. <laughs> to fall from. <laughs> She's already had the old cow. Now she wants the young calf. That's what makes me sad about Adam, Adam McKay's career where, where it's gone, is that we may never get stepbrothers too. That's bullshit. We need, <laughs> we need that. He's all fucking woke now. He might offend somebody now. I, mean, I enjoyed the film Bombshell, Bombshell, but I didn't need two and a half hours telling me the fucking Roger Ayers is a fucking pig. I didn't need two hours of that. I don't know what I, that movie is. I, well, it's about the, the Fox, the head of Fox News and his sexual harassments. Yeah. Oh, I don't care. <laughs> I don't yeah. care. What does that lady have on her head? But I, I knew Roger Ayers was a shit pig before I watched that movie. very first VCRs. I have made this concoction. I shall call it Boone's Farm. <laughs> Mixing up the world's first quart of purple passion. <laughs> <laughs> Not that I'm dumping on Boone's. I've, I've had my nights with some Boone's, you know, but, uh... Oh, dude. Sixteen-year-olds everywhere know about Boone's Farm. <laughs> and the hangover that ensues. Remember Mad Dog 2020? Oh, that's... that's... Those three right there, man. I'm that's fucking you. poison. <laughs> Once and you'll never do it again. Just fucking rot gun alcohol. Old crow. <laughs> oh, drinking it's smoking. Smoking. Gotta serve it with a knife. I don't understand this drink. What's she gonna pour it in a stab wound? That would be right. <laughs> <laughs> give, give me uh, give me two fingers of whatever you got there, ma'am. You know. She's gonna kill the king. I guarantee it. Here. Oh, yeah. oh, this is definitely what's going on here. Is that a metal pineapple? <laughs> Here, have another drink. This, this is. He's got Chuck Nor Chuck Norris beard, but he could be Chuck Connors. He's like crappy Charles Heston, I think. Come to the bed. We'll have sexual relations. Man. 60 minute man. Woo! Man, look at him. Take that girl's Space Mountain, son. And he's dead. Oh. See, that was cruel, bitch. Real fucking cruel. What? Okay, wait, uh, what? Why poison him? Why don't you just walk in there and stab the fuck out of him? For a dramatic effect. Yeah, this seems excessive. She only gave him a small thrill, see? She only gave him the whole show. <clears throat> you stay here, Tiny Owen. What the, he's, he's got like a European belt strapped <laughs> You're not going off the rafters there. <laughs> D-Lo Brown. <laughs> They replaced that belt with something. I forget what it was. I think it was the U.S. title or something. Oh, he's going to be fighting Jerry Lynn. No, he's dead. Oh, she's going to blame it on him. Going to blame it on Gore. That's not his name. But, you know, I forget his name now. It's going to be something really stupid. Cabot. Cabot, yeah. Don't touch the body. That's just bad forensics right there. You're from present day. Don't touch the knife, you moron. Tell me Outlaws of Gore ends in a, in a courtroom drama, because that would be badass. <laughs> they 
all of a sudden yeah. Portland burps and stuff yeah. up and just like L.A. law. Yep. Can, Got can, another trial now. Can't have Corbin Burns without Larry Drake. Come on now. Just, uh, mentally handicapped Larry Drake. I support anything Larry Drake based. Dr. Giggles, son. It's really fucking stupid, but I really fucking enjoy it. Oh, yeah. It's fucking wonderful. Saw that in the theater. Whoa, that's a primo act. Right there. Like there's somebody um doing a, a signing with all their cool runnings guys, all the, the four Bob's letters, you know? And I said, why no Dr. Giggles options for Dougie Doug? What's wrong with you people? Yeah. For Doug Doug? For Doug Doug. No Operation Dumbo Drop? I swear uh, they're just shooting this movie in the fucking haunted house from Ghoulies yeah, 2. Yeah, I, I celebrate Dougie Doug. I don't know why. Just Doug Doug's great. <laughs> Remember hanging with the homeboys? Yes, I do. Is that is that the D.B. Sweeney one? No, no. That's got, like, uh, John Leziamo and Mario Jorner. Maybe that's Heaven as a Playground. I think that's because I think D.B. Sweeney is one of those. I'm going to the IMDb again. <laughs> Get him, Tony Owen. There's a reason why they call him the Rocket. Fucking two time slammy board winning Tony <laughs> Owen right there. Member of the Nation of Domination. Fuck yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Enough's enough, and it's time for a change. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, with that, we were watching that pay-per-view when Owen died. We we made fun of it for like a day. We swore to God that was a work. Turns out, nope. No, it wasn't. That was a little tiny Owen outrunning everybody else. I'll see so far ahead of everybody. Yeah, <laughs> find what Tiny Owens' name is in this movie. That guy's trying to find him. Does anybody know what Tiny Owens' name is in this movie? Tiny Owens, man. <laughs> you mean it's not Tiny Owens? No, from the Dungeon of Calgary. <laughs> the Dungeon of Calgary. This is true. You're not wrong. By the way, Jack Powell is a dick. He just killed somebody. But not really, directly. He just made the potion to kill somebody. Seize him! God, dogs don't listen. Oh! Hey! Hey, Kamala! She does not approve of gut stabbings, I suppose. Or Jack Palance. Can't believe it, <laughs> I watched um, Day of the Dolphin for a review I'm going to do of it, and the guy from Real Genius shows up that's, you know, always, never forget to check your references guy. It's, uh, that's always a good time. Laszlo Hollyfield? No, not Laszlo Hollyfield. Um, the, the bearded guy, the bearded professor guy that always tells him to always, uh, never forget to check your references. Oh, the asshole from Ghostbusters? No, no, the bearded guy. The guy that shows up at the end, at the end with them, too, when the, when, the, when the popcorn happens. He's like hey. the, president, the president of the university. <laughs> I understand the distinction, though, because of goddamn Laszlo Hollyfield. It's, it's... Well, Hollyfield's a fucking Hollywood goddamn royalty, as far as I'm concerned. You need a werewolf played? Laszlo Hollyfield's no. your man. You, you give me any. You give me any given day. I can choose one. Well, choose one well, like better. Friday night or Friday night part two. I could have swore DB Sweeney was in one of these hood movies, and I guess I was wrong. Oh, there he is. He is in heaven. Is a, heaven is a, is a playground. <laughs> Along with Hakeem Olajuwon, for some reason. What is the new bull also on that show? Because that would be righteous. <laughs> But new bull might show up in, um, what's the Kevin Bacon Goes to Africa movie? Oh, uh, the air up there? Yes. I love that movie, I though. Once, I once sold a copy of The Dark Backward on VHS 
signed by Manute Bull and Harry Dean Anderson. Well, that would be a hell of a known. Yeah, it was awesome. That that was a that was an insult um, in the Celtic pride, which the film is under underrated, in my opinion. But yeah, I think Daniel Stern tells Damon Wayans that his mom looks like Manute Bowl or something like that. <laughs> Your mom looks like Kurt Rambis, even better. <laughs> something like that. <laughs> and then Dan Aykroyd's like Manute Bowl. Did you ever hear Manute Bowl talk? He sounds like the devil. <laughs> no. <laughs> he sounds like the fucking devil. Probably sounds like something got a serpent in the rainbow. He sounds like like fucking some death metal singer, and he's not even trying to sound like that. That's just what his voice sounds like. <laughs> I watched that cursed film thing about um, serpent in the rainbow, and oh, I they, need to watch it. It, they, they went to some real voodoo shit in that movie in real life. And they went yeah. down during the Haitian Revolution when the dictator just died, and. Uh, they didn't want to pay the, the thousands of extras that they had, so they paid like three hours a day, and they fucking started to revolt yep. and shit. Mm-hmm. I need to watch that. I remember all that shit when it happened. It was like, supposed to be like some real fucking weird shit. And watch the movie, and it sucked. Thing man, they really believe in that shit down there. Well, that, that, that shit's yeah. super serious. That, that part where fucking Paul Winfield pulls his head off still fucks me up every time I watch it. Oh, this guy's badass. He's got like three weapons. He could also stab somebody with that helmet. And that guy that plays the main African and like everything is in that movie, he's like the bad guy. I think the last thing he was in was um he played Black Panther's father in that Avengers yep. movie. Yeah. By the way, I am queen now. Do you like my throne? It's all right, bitch. That's not George Eastman. Come on, movie. He mean, he wants to be George Eastman, but he's not. Maybe someday when he grows up, becomes a real boy. <laughs> George Eastman. <laughs> I require George Eastman in like almost every movie I watch. I want George Eastman to show up. I didn't watch uh, Anthropotheus on Joe Bob. I have to go oh, back and watch it. This thing was good. God, I love that. I have to go back and watch it again, though. I have it's to go back and watch both things, actually. Yeah. That is the most dreamlike movie. Like, I've seen it a bunch of times, and I still don't feel like I've actually seen it. It's like I dreamt it. I, I kept falling asleep during everything, so. He had Spike Gooley on, man. I, know, I saw that part of it. blew my mind when they said that Lady Averlyn was going to play uh, Barbara in, yep. in Dead Living Dead. <laughs> yeah. She would have more feeling than, than fucking Judith O'Day did, though, I think. Johnny has the keys! Her biggest line delivery in the whole film. <laughs> until, until Dwayne Jones slaps the fucking white <laughs> off of her. <laughs> So, oh, it's good hair. Domination. It's good Master hair. Blast yeah, Master, Master Blast is at the house. <laughs> Master Blaster runs far to town. <coughs> y'all better love y'all, Auntie. She, she's there for a reason. Them fucking. Auntie, two men in dispute. Them fucking massive hoop earrings and. You know, that burlap sack dress is fucking sexy as hell. Did you just see Sonny Bono walk in the movie? <laughs> <laughs> I are think we, Sonny Bono just showed up. Are you watching Motel Hell? <laughs> That's one of my favorite exchanges in any 80s horror film, is the one between Sonny Bono and Rory Calhoun in that movie. Yeah. Hey, Wasteland's doing a Motel Hell reunion next, next show. Did you see they added Alex Vincent? Oh, no shit? Yeah, they uh, added him to the list. I checked it out the other day. Seems like an odd... Uh, I mean, it's, it you know, is. it's cool, yeah. but it's an odd addition. <laughs> yeah. He, yeah. He, they always try to get, like, not those guys, you know what I mean? Nice fellow, like, though. They, they'd have John Bud Cardos before they'd have Alex Vincent at a wasteland. 
Well, you can't have there. you can't have John Bud Carlos. He died. I know. Not long ago, he literally lived like ninety-one. Oh, that dude lived forever. Yeah. See, Jack Powell's just got rid of her, her bitch now. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, snap. What's happening? Is this Cat, Myra? Cat of Nine Tails? The fucking Valkyrie from Gauntlet 2. It's like a metal video. Where's Dio when you meet him, man? P P Patty Smith, you know. Tearing down the walls of holding. <laughs> bang, bang. <laughs> I am the warrior. Oh shit! Where do they get these fancy boots from? I'm okay. sure I'm I'm fucking triggered by go-go boots. See, they don't know these things about me. On with the hip tossing. What are you gonna do with the cat of nine tails, baby? Like something out of glow. She is the Amazon. God taking damn, all they need is Clytus back there controlling the floor. Yup. Just churning the goo, you know. Yeah. Tongue falls out. Peter, man, when I seen Peter's pictures of Peter Wingard, I was like, how you guys do it to his face? He's a fucking beautiful British man. It's like, I'll get this sex symbol from Britain and cover his face with fucking metal. Damn, from that angle, you can tell what religion she is. Uh -huh. There you go. Oh, shit. Can't fuck with my loincloth, son. Oh, she got, like, back Black Panther claw. Oh, well, you did. Everybody gets stabbed in the fucking ribs in, in gore. It's the only <laughs> way to die. Stab them in the ribs. That is the way to die in gore, yes. Or or in the, arm, the only way you could possibly die and escape from New York is if you missed that board in the in the in the, the ring scene, you know. Uh huh. Which I I heard, you know, beside the behind the scenes shit that in the, the fight with Ox Baker, he put literally put a piece of board behind his neck and said, "Aim for the board, Kurt." And Kurt was like, "All right, you know." <laughs> Did you ever see? It's on YouTube if you want to go watch it. Did you ever see the time Ox Baker got picked to go on the prices? Right? Oh, it's spectacular. It's fucking amazing. Oh, I've never seen that. <laughs> it's great. He actually makes it up there and bids and wins and it's awesome. My my father would tell me Ox Baker stories because he was back in the day, you know, yeah. Chicago wrestling was huge in Chicago, they had the amphitheater and he would go all the time. Yeah. So yeah, like, My dad oh, used to go see those guys, but it was like Dick the Bruiser and all oh, those yeah. dudes. Bruiser and the Crusher. Brody. Yep. Yep. Bruiser the Crusher. Uh, yeah, the Crusher. Of course, Bobby Heenan. I've seen, I've seen old pictures of Bobby Heenan of the pink tights. <laughs> Gorilla Monsoon fighting Roger the Giant back in the day. He's a busky. Look at little Owen's muscles. Yeah, man. The guy ain't got no weird goddamn sausage fingers like the rest of my clan. <laughs> tiny people with the sausage fingers. My my sister's watching. Um, well, I think it's called Little People. No, it's 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 Little Women something or other, L.A. or something, and. There was a doing a photo shoot where one of them was sitting in a pot of gold. Like, how am I not supposed to laugh at that, you know? <laughs> how am I not supposed to laugh at that? She got flames on her boobies. I took on your best warrior and I killed that bitch. She gets the best capes and just leaves Sherry in the lurch right there. That's how you do it. It's Wendy Richter versus the Asfuck Twins. Don't blame me, blame Orgasmo. 
Interference. Hip toss. God damn it. Why do you gotta fuck them in the ass? Because they're the ass fuck twins. <laughs> Happy tart. Now, orgasm was one of the best things ever, I thought. I swear to God. One more for Jesus. <laughs> Fucking Matt Stone. I don't want to sound like queer right now, but I think Depeche Mode kicks ass. Garvin Stomp. Garvin Stomp. <laughs> oh, a monkey flip. Uh, Schoolboy. Find your inner Michael P.S. Hayes. Do it. Hip toss, Pagey. Get Hip her. Toss. Yeah. <laughs> oh, she did not appreciate that. <laughs> By God, this girl's got a family. Is she going to turn into Swamp Thing? What's uh, going on here? <laughs> oh, she just hit her across oh, the gut. Right the titty. Right the titty. <laughs> Damn. Damn. Frankenstein, she, oh, shit. <laughs> she just did the. She just broke that girl's ankle, oh, goddammit. Finish her. Finish her now. Put her in the tree of woe. <laughs> Was it the, the, the thing where they hang up upside down in the ring in, on the turnbuckle? Yeah, and then mankind runs and <laughs> baseball slides your face. There are worse things. That's the thing. That's the thing. Face. Yeah. Which you know, on a recent episode of um, AEW Dynamite, R- Regal is on there now and being awesome and um. He got cursed by Danhausen. I seen Danhausen cursed him, and, and he he reacted in a way like when he he got the kid to kiss Miss Command's ass or whatever it was, and it's it's just being regal. He's really really laying it in there. It's hilarious. <clears throat> I have declared Fridays at work talk like Danhausen Day. Well, <laughs> but none of the Ohio farm kids know who Danhausen is. You know, he's not that talented of a wrestler, but he's got personality for days. No, that's what I was telling these guys on my show. Like he's he's figured it out. He's like the best, but he doesn't have to wrestle. He's got such a great gimmick. Like you've made it in life where you could just go on YouTube and people send you stuff and your videos are of you opening the stuff people send you. You've won. Him going backstage at the AEW Awards, just fucking taking, taking people's statues and stuff. <laughs> This is Dan Housen's. Dan Housen has earned this. <laughs> He's hanging out with the ass boys. <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> I just want to see that tiny guy take a tumble down a dude. Yeah, but he got the, he got fucking gams for days. To look at him go. That's why he's outrunning everybody. <laughs> he's better built than fucking douchebag right there. Cabot. He's got a fucking skirt on, too. Ah. Oh. You don't know where that one has been. Oh, it's a dead body. Well, it's a skeleton, kind of. That's how cabin it's fever like happened. Store. <laughs> That's how cabin it's fever happens, people. Right there. I gotta give it to Eli Roth and Cabin Fever. The the part where the girl is shaving her legs is still one of my most uncomfortable yeah. moments ever. You know, like why does she keep doing it? I think we should take the first layer of skin off here and stop. But you know, not that girl. Owen oh, just found a mosh pit in the middle of the desert. He found a twisted concert. Which I didn't know Astronomicon was their thing, but apparently it is. The band Twisted has a convention with wrestlers and movie stars. Oh, I've seen them at, at a whorehound once. I was like, yeah, yeah there they are. <laughs> well, the first wizard I ever went, wizard show I went to, they had, the ICP was there. And. All them fucking juggalos. This is back when they used to make you win in a carpet to go inside the building. And, uh, yeah. 
all those fucking juggalos were there, and they were they gave out in the goodie bags Pokemon uh, instructional videotapes how to play the Pokemon Park card game. So they were breaking them like they're fucking breaking boards in the Karate Kid or something, and uh, that's in the crowd and being fucking savages. We've got spiny helmets. We're gonna get some, get some, get some, but not consensual. Fuck is that? I know. Just, he's just grabbing random chicks yeah. and. That's not a good way to round up slaves. Oh, right in the goods. Run away, Spiky Man. Mandible claw, mandible claw. <laughs> I'll do you one better. I think Meng did it better. Don't get that grip. Remember Meng doing the thing? Fuck yeah, Meng was one of my favorites, dude. Love that guy. My favorite episode of Nitro ever was when they told Meng he got to fight Goldberg. And Goldberg was like, probably a hundred no. No, Meng should fucking like, destroy him. No, nah, Meng, like, the whole show was, like, every fight, Meng went in the back and flipped the fuck out. And, uh, like, every ten minutes, Ming had, like, another guy beaten in the Tonga death grip in the back. It's like every That's... five minutes, oh, no, Lash LaRue is down. Ming is down. <laughs> five minutes He later, said Lash LaRue, like, I'm thinking oh, back shit, now. Billy Kidman's down. <laughs> he went through the whole WCW roster. Billy Kidman's down. Norman back. Smiley is down. <laughs> oh, shit, he got fucking Hooventude. <laughs> Hooventude. And psychosis is down. Oh my god, here comes Lodi. He got a family. Lodi. <laughs> Lodi, the, the bastard of the flock. Who better than Canyon? Goldberg, I guess. <laughs> Speaking of Regal, that was one of the best non works ever. Where Regal made him he made him fucking wrestle. I think she did. She didn't make it, Tiny Owen. I didn't know this horror, but I'm sure she was a good one. Damn. Just wrap that dude in the mouth. Now get up and walk, motherfucker. Why aren't they carrying those weird things that they snuck a ride on in the first one? I mean, this is a slave fucking march, I guess. They can't. They didn't get the budget for that. They spent yeah. all the money on Jack Palance. I guess he's that that extra minute and a half. They just, just they just stand around in the background. Yeah. Well, I mean, they didn't pay him for dialogue, shit. Man. Huh. But then Cabot became the savior of Gore. Have you never heard of the Emancipation Proclamation? Not on this planet, boy. Keep on walking. Now picture first blood and you put the this guy put put Cabot in first blood. <laughs> it would suck. Just going to fucking planet Dennehy. <laughs> just, just go home, boy. I just wanted something to eat. Lori Laughlin. No, I hope so. That'd be they make a magical movie. I'm, I'm telling you, man. She put in her prison glasses. I was turned on more. I'm not gonna lie to you. <laughs> Lori Loftler had the prison glasses. I uh, just made me made the infatuation all that much worse. I forgot she went to prison for like a hot three weeks or something. Yeah, for yeah. 
<laughs> she did that Martha Stewart time. She didn't do that goddamn murderer time. That's sexier than a fucking high school dance in red. Lori Laughlin prison glasses on. Those are regulations. You get those from the commissary? You're eight by eight or mine, baby. I'll trade that punani for eight ramen packets. That shit's like that shit's like fucking currency in prison art. <laughs> Just the ramen packets. The, My the, girlfriend is a she's a CO up at the jail. Man, I have heard some stories. <laughs> Whew. Boy, have I heard some stories. Oh, I bet. That's that's one of my favorite lines. I think, I think it's uh, next Friday where, where Mike Epps is being chased by the big girl. He goes, look, I got a cookie. It's out of the wrapper, just like the commissary. Yeah. <laughs> got all the snacks. You're 2,000 snacks. She knows all the bootleg snacks. They didn't even come out yet. <laughs> got the brand new little Debbie's. They don't hit the shelves till Tuesday. <laughs> she thought what? It's got a got a pretty tweaky out there. <laughs> <laughs> it shoots glitter in your mouth and <laughs> she got all the year two thousand snacks. Oh, oh, Cabot's got all the year two thousand snacks for sure. What the fuck is going on here? They got a man in a cage and a horse. Seems like a waste. Don't they understand? I don't understand the slave trade. This is how Taken happens. These guys. This is how Taken happens, by the way. Liam Beast needs to show up right now and free all these girls. Beeson style. No, that homegirl from um, Death Spa and Masters. Where's Foray? Foray's got to be in. <laughs> now I have to look. From Masters of the Universe. That she was in Death Spa, too. That it, it's the same actress I'm thinking about. Let's see, shall we? Why are they playing montage music when no montage is going on? Oh, there needs to be a montage. Because even Rocky had a montage. They're gonna spot us. You're white out in the room. Fucking white. You're not gonna open. hide the fact that you're a midget, dude. <laughs> they, they, they get a big trench coat and he just gets on his shoulders. <laughs> hey, look, I'm taller now. <laughs> Don't worry about us. We're just, you know, the desert wasteland, nine foot tall man. I'm sure, they would attract no attention whatsoever. Get over here, bitch. Damn. <laughs> You're gonna bruise her. You can't sell it like that. Ron Simmons just slapped the shit out of her. All American. Damn. Oh, inconspicuous. Yes. Yeah. Way more inconspicuous than they were two seconds ago. Sweet shit music. Oh, you need that. That's everybody's fucking final move now is that goddamn super kick. And they were inconspicuous for 90 seconds. Yeah. Well, yeah, yeah, it is, yeah. Why 
they play the music from Silverado now. <laughs> <laughs> What the fuck was that? <laughs> That's how you steal a horse, son. He just kind of lobbed that sword at that dude. He died. Hey, be careful. We might catch up with him. Turn the corner and that plane from Raiders is gonna be in there and that bald Nazi's gonna fucking some fight somebody. <laughs> Just shaking them fists up and down. The fire is too big. Turn back now. They're all just like, well, fuck. <laughs> See ya. Still probably going to charge that dude $200 for the... For yeah. The oh, yeah. Kind of gamey ass me you guys eating. Butt flank. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> Got it off the possum, goddammit. They got possums and gore? That's a delicious meat right there. Oh hello, stranger. So you should have stole your girl, man. No girl for Tiny Owen. No, no God. Owen always getting cock blocked. God damn. <laughs> no, enough is enough, and it's time for a change. Let's get that midget laid. <laughs> he just needs a little pussy. Yeah. They got large hips and big asses. They're good to go. That's ripe for fucking right there. If we, we offended to the, the little people community out there, uh, we really celebrate Tiny Owen here, so we just Tiny throw it out there. He's, yeah, he's the, we're so happy that he's here. Will it really, though? Will it really be? <laughs> Oh, just pondering. God, get off me, bitch. I guess we sleep. <laughs> Somebody get this bitch up off me. I got a nice warm coos waiting for me at the place. Oh, shit. Is it a reptile from Mortal Kombat? It's a sneaky bastard, that fucking reptile. Cool if it was those bone suckers from Beastmaster. Oh, you need those bone suckers. Possibly John Amos from Beastmaster. Oh, that'd be sweet. That leather thong for <laughs> that goddamn piece of, piece of wood. Bow staff around with that kid. Oh, karate chop. Oh, right in the carotid artery. Shit. Wow. 
Why didn't you steal the horse? You wouldn't be walking right now, dipshit. It's like a minute work video. <laughs> Notice they quickly went to, you know, halfway through this movie, they went back to the no pants clause. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now I finally figured out who she looks like. She looks like Barbara Crampton, but, but is a brunette. Yeah. And I'm all right with that. Okay, so that's a giant dick. <laughs> right. <laughs> the Stolsa Dooms dick. <laughs> What's the point of this? Where are you going? Well, I've been trying to figure out like the whole movie was what the point of the sequel was. I think this is just made from leftover footage from the first one. Probably. Because well, although there seems to be a m much bigger budget at hand, there's not much else going on. No. Oh, back at the caves. It's got a metal tube top on. <laughs> We'll say this movie has uh, an extensive amount of Jack Palance in it, though. I mean, not extensive, but yeah. No, I mean, like ten times more than the original core. <laughs> I'm looking for the Shankara stone still. God damn. Oh, well, sucks to be them, doesn't it? Oh, fucking, where's OSHA when you need them? <laughs> God damn, these guys got to have some fucking safety practices going on. They got to unionize. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, I want to see them die. <laughs> Bitch, that cave-in's going to happen on you, too. God damn, what are you standing there for? It's like the ending of Game of Thrones all over again. Hey, Jack Palance is evil, but he's got his limits, lady. Yeah. Genocide, he ain't about. God damn. Fucking Terry Tube Top, get on it. Looking what are, Have they even established what they're looking for down there? I have no idea. They already have the big piece of bubble gum that, like, is magical, right? Yeah. Okay, so what the fuck's going on in the mines? I missed to be captured. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Glad to have you back, sir. Yep. Had a emergency situation. Just to go take a gore. I went to good gore, yes, indeed. That was very important. What? This guy should have been. This guy should have. I'm sorry. Go ahead. He's talking shit. He's wearing. He's wearing a goddamn yarmulke. I'm glad they have the Jewish tradition in gore. <laughs> Oh, 
This guy should have been Brian Thompson. Yeah, where's that guy at? They basically uses his armor again in, in uh, Mortal Kombat Armageddon. <laughs> Shao Kahn's armor. Which, you know, for, for a stinker, like that. for a stinker of a film, uh, his performance stands out in my opinion. <laughs> God, I saw no, I saw Mortal Kombat two in the theater with like six of my friends. We all fell asleep. It was so bad. There are worse things, okay. And in my senior year, I was I worked for the tech crew for for the stage plays. Yeah. And somebody decided they wanted to do Mortal Kombat the stage play. Oh, jeez. Some guy kicked you right through the auditorium wall. I'm not going to lie to you. Okay. During your production of Mortal Kombat, the stage play. I, I worked the board, and I worked the spot a lot. And my job was when Sub-Zero, you know, did his ice ball, I had to put the blue light on the other person. Because <laughs> that's high school effects for you. It's like this man is frozen. Don't kick Tiny Owen, you butt butthole. God damn. He's got enough ridicule, you know? He's yeah. small. Can't get no gore pussy. What's wrong with these people? <laughs> this is kicking this guard in the ass. <laughs> yes, Kamal, you took you get in the business, baby. Yeah, Kamala does not enjoy violence upon Tiny Owen. Not about that shit. There's 20 minutes left in the movie. Then we'll go outside, Kamala. Yes. <laughs> we know you don't approve of Tiny Owen violence. Oh no, not snot. Oh, that guy. Shit. Not dead yet. He should have fucked them harm girls. What's wrong with him? When he had the chance. That guard's got an odd body structure. <laughs> Tiny chicken legs on that dude. It's just a heart Paul, punch. Paul Smith showed up for one day to be yeah. stand in. Yep. Guards, I'm over here. Look at my boobies. It's like, yeah, she's over here. Let's go get some. Totally bag tagged. Uh, speaking of the tree of woe. This on the tree of woe. Uh -huh. <laughs> Is this where they drop the slug in his ear and put the armored come, fucking spiked armor on him and he goes crazy? Come on, come, come on, darling, come on. See, now that. Berserker. That is power. Some of the monologues in, in Conan are the tits from um, good old James Earl Jones. Guy totally had loafers on. Oh, yeah. It's kind of like when you see... Oh, shit. Yeah, he does. Get some hot shush puppies. <laughs> it's kind of like when you see the the behind the scenes of Pumpkinhead. You see the 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 actor wearing the gym the high the high tops doing the doing the work for for Pumpkinhead. Yep. It's like Pumpkinhead don't need no goddamn high tops. What's wrong with people? Pumpkinhead could dunk though. Pumpkinhead makes Lance Henriksen sad. Even more sadder than his dead son. Oh. Yeah, I can't watch Pumpkinhead by, by myself, so I'm just throwing it out there. What? The, he's giving him some oatmeal, man. It's all good. He just shoved doo doo in his mouth. <laughs> Get him the guano. <laughs> That'd be bad shit. It's like, see what I did here? I gave you a Hitler mustache, and that's shit on your, on your upper lip. You got that Hitler mustache made out of doo-doo. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this weird bird shit on his face. Jeez. It's like, no, my turn. I will show you what pain is. 
young man. Yes, Kamala will too. I think you get a nose a... like this without feeling pain. Man, she's being a butthole. I know. I know what you want, dog. How many times do you think Jack Pounds has had his nose broken? Two dozen at least. He's got that deviated septum. That's where his weird breathing patterns come from. Just attracting space vaginas with teeth coming after him. <laughs> Again, watch, watch without warning people. Oh, that's an amazing movie. <laughs> Flying teeth, space vaginas. Get them ninja star, alien ninja star slug squid things. Well, the greatest uh, space vagina ever is still from uh, God Told Me To, so. Never seen that. I was going to pick that for the show a couple weeks ago. and Oh, I saw I some go. I saw some unseen Larry Cohen from me. I watched Bone. It was amazing. Snoop Dogg movie? No, the, the, the Yapit Koto. Oh, the Yapit Koto, yeah. P- yeah. Pissing off white people movie. Fuck Yapit. <laughs> He's up there with the aliens now, so. <laughs> According to him. Only shitty person I've ever met at a convention was Yamakoto. Oh, he was, he oh, was out, really? he was out there, yeah. Sucker, yeah. I've heard stories. There's a couple people I've met like that, but not many. Well, Tom Savini comes to mind. Yeah, I've yeah. heard the same thing about him, but I've met him a couple. He is nothing but super nice. I think... I don't know. I think he probably just has his bad days every once in a while. That HGH wears off, you know. <laughs> St- <laughs> Sideways. St- the plugs ain't taken, yeah. you know. I, I did I, see Kane Hodder once beat the living shit out of a bathroom stall. That was impressive. S- S- Steve Dash always rubbed me the wrong way. Yeah, I don't know what it is. I've gotten autographs for other people for him before, and, like, every time, like, yeah. Hey, 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 hey. Huh. God, my dog has Freddy Krueger claws. <laughs> God damn, you know where to scratch. He's got his awesome dookie chain and headgear back on, though. Oh, it's business time. That's business <laughs> time. Right there. If you look at his hat from overhead, it's definitely a vagina. Yes. He fucks like, that hat. I'm sure. You know why, though? He's wearing that dookie chain, because, you know, he is the king of rock. There is none higher. <laughs> yeah. On the my it's kingdom, Christmas time in Gore. <laughs> it's Christmas time in Gore's Queens. Mom was cooking muskrat and collard. Mom was cooking muskrat and collard greens. Mom was cooking tiny Owen and collard greens. Okay, we got roughly what thirteen minutes of this movie left. Does anybody know what the plot's about? Well, this is a plotless movie. They, they have the same actor, but they changed his name. Yeah. But he's obviously yeah. the same character. And, uh, sent back with a glowing rock ring with, with, with snot. And but there's no MacGuffin. There's no big piece of, like that they're after. So I don't know what the fuck. So they're pulling, they're pulling some Caesar shit where this bitch kills the top guy and gonna yeah. be the top bitch and, you know, just take over the throne. I guess. But she ain't got no titties. And, uh, fake ass Billy Idol punk rock sneer. She's got going on. <laughs> It should, be, it should be Monique Gabrielle. This is a Bonarski film would be a thing, you know, but... Yep. This is a Bonarski jam, Monique Gabrielle and Julie Strain to be up in this. Yep. Better looking women. Oh, it frogged him. He's got a frog. I did, I did watch, like I mentioned earlier, the Return of the Swamp. Like I, I still love the scene where her and, um... Homeboy are doing the Jaws scar comparison thing, you know? Yeah. <laughs> Hotly Crew Concert, 1988. So good. It's the best scene of that movie. 1967, Hate Ashbury, The Summer of Love. Oh, Dick DeRock's my hero. I love him so much. L- little fat kid in the black kid. Amazing. Oh, Junebug? <laughs> <laughs> There's Junebug just in the first one. If you look for... Um, the first one. If you look for Bo's Pick 6 movies, Bo and Chad's Pick 6 movies, they do an episode on Return of Spawn thing, and they refer to the little fat white boys, little, little butter stuffs, and I can't stop laughing, you know. (laughs) (laughs) 
That guy makes movies now too, I think. The one that played the little fat kid. He was doing conventions for a while. Well, I got a story about him. I have to tell off the air though. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Yeah, this is uh, not safe for work. I got gotcha. you. Got some Ari Lehman stories like that. <laughs> well, I got a good Ari Lehman story. I'm sure somebody's got some good Tony Moran stories that could tell me too. You know, because if I if I've had drinks at this table, I can imagine what he's like in, uh, outside the convention hall. <laughs> oh man, dude, the best dude like that ever is. Uh... Oh shit, he's CJ. No, um. Forsyth. <laughs> oh, Forsyth. with the booty shorts. Booty shorts will get hammered at a convention and be the funnest dude in the room. Best thing ever. My buddy was working Wizard. Okay. I have a picture of this somewhere. Rooker is drunk on his ass. And he somebody has one of those Daleks from Doctor Who, but it's remote controlled. He <laughs> he rolls up to my friend's booth and they open the top and there's fucking Rooker just hanging out. You know, because Rooker's a friend of his. So. Yeah. He come to see him in his booth, but he was drunk as shit inside this Dalek. Who, who was doing this? Michael Rooker. Rooker? Oh. <laughs> I always tell folks, you, you, want, you want your girl to be unhappy, you, you want to be unhappy with your girl, uh, don't bring it over Rooker, because Rooker gets a little, a little tipsy, and he'll start feeling on your girl, and he don't care, you know. Rooker's a boob toucher. He's a, he's, he's, he's a, he's a driver. Maybe we could get him on the next celebrity fucking trial we got going on talking about muffins and whatnot. <laughs> like, I, I bet Sarah Underwood before, the, the Playboy model slash attack of the show personality. And I was excited to meet her. And she was very nice, but she's like five foot two with like a seven foot tall black bodyguard, you know? Oh. So if you touched her, let me tell you, <laughs> you'd, be, you'd be getting the business. The new bowl was going to beat the shit out of her. <laughs> Very lovely woman. I wish she'd meet her again to replace my autograph. But, um, yeah. No, nah, Forsyth is like, that man, that wasteland, he was drinking with us and just telling the Steven Seagal story. <laughs> Steven just, Seagal. Yeah, it was like, there's the hallway we always hang out in. And it was like, Forsyth. Yeah, the main lobby. Yeah, Forsyth drunk off his ass. And then, um, oh, the Evil Dead guy, Tim, Tom, Sol- Tom Sullivan was pretty drunk too. <laughs> telling his Irish jokes. It's hilarious. Well, Tom, he ain't been he ain't no. been doing so well lately. No, I don't think he's he's doing conventions no more. Yeah, if you don't know what we're talking about about the William Forsythe booty shorts, uh, go to a convention one time. You'll see him. And uh, he wears them booty shorts. I swear, one one pair of jean shorts I one time I went to see him. I swear they were so torn his dick was gonna fall out of him. He just oh says, man, I've seen I've seen his <laughs> balls. I did. I've legit seen William Forsythe balls. But did he have a thin dick? I just I saw got a sack. thin dick. Oh yeah, <laughs> fucking Deuce Bigelow. I just thought about that 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 bigger black lady in that movie, just laughing. This was a mistake. You say steak? That movie's so wrong in so many ways. Another another etched in Rob Schneider's uh career. Can't live off those. Um, you know what film I like with him in though was um, this one Judge called Dredd. Big. Well, yeah, I love Judge Dredd. Don't, don't get me wrong. This one called Big Stan where he goes to prison. Yes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> David Carradine trains him how to fight. Jack Palace just got off. That yes, he did. That's boo. Him. That's boo shit. She's like, "Where's my dead homeboy?" Not coming back for part three. Nope. No. No. I thought for sure he was going to fucking kill this bitch. What is the point of those knee pads if they're down by your ankles? Oh, Junkyard Dog, it's the thump coming to get you. Fucking (laughs) J.Y.D. Iceman King Parsons. It's the J.Y.D. and Butch Reed coming at you. Tag team. It's the time that they had to fight gladiator things and... They're undefeated, so why are we doing this the fourth time? You can't kick JYD in the ass. What's wrong with you? You're supposed to grab them cakes. (laughs) Which is the song that JYD sang. You know, you're welcome. Looked that up one time. 
He looks like if JYD fucked Reginald Bell Johnson. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, oh, Tiny Owen with the JYD. spear. Tiny Owen needs to give him that 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 Owen rocket drop kick. Well, that's not cool. He's gonna get out of that thing and be pissed off. Get him, snot. Oh, leapfrog, bitch. Oh, monkey, <laughs> oh, he got stabbed. He, he got hip stabbed. That's how you die in this movie. They're betting on Richards out there. Woman, it didn't work the first three times you tried this shit. What makes you think it was gonna work the fourth time? Here comes time? not Paul Smith. Yeah, here comes shitty Paul Smith. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking bird leg Paul Smith. He definitely skipped leg day. Those usually they're they, those people flip me out, man. They like I see them at Walmart all the time, like the fat ladies that are super fat up top, but like not at bottom. Oh, he just bent that plastic sword. What the fuck was that? What did he just do? He just pulled the Bo Jackson on your ass. He's... He just pulled the bow breaker. No, this is where the tri lambs take over, bitch. <laughs> lambda, 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 and oh, make a move. Make a move. Man, they gave them big girls some love. Nice, yeah. right in the hip, bitch. Hip. That's how people die in gore. Hip cuts. And we're free to be free. Let Tiny Owen out of the net, please. That dude didn't do anything. That's a that's an Ace Freely song. I, that 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 I forget which South Park it was on, but that song where they're oh where they're playing World of Warcraft, I think. And the song goes, "Live to win, till you die." That's a Gordy's kick kick ass theme song. That's what it's missing. Cause fucking Yor had a whole whole theme song. It's like, yep, we just fucking spiked that bitch. Let's fuck. And Tiny Owen pops in with his fucking kickstand and just. Oh, he totally grabbed boob. <laughs> but he grazed boob. That's full boob grab right there. He just palming it, dude. I guess it's time to leave. No oh, sex for now. Shit. Like, by the way, your mission's over. It's like the end of Army of Darkness. T time to go back to reality with your fucking uh, leather on. Like, man, I didn't even get to fuck the harm girls. What the fuck? So next time we're going to watch Gore 3 through the portal of time. <laughs> <laughs> Starry Tony Todd. Gore 2, starring Carter War. <laughs> People shit on Beastmaster 2, and they shit not. Beastmaster 2 is good. Part 3, yeah. not so much. You, you no, got, not you, so much the I have a practice. You, you, you got Wings, Hauser, and Sarah Douglas in that movie. You should be grateful. Let's not forget Carrie War. Yeah. Bad to look at. Yeah, but those are your bad guys in that movie, though. Right, right. With the fucking half face and the leather patch on his face, what we got going on there? By the way, let me tell you a story about High Adventure. And how, how, I, how I almost got laid. Is that a Dotson truck? Yeah, I'll roll them strong in this movie. It's with those Nissan hugs. <laughs> <laughs> so did they leave? Did they left Cabot just back in Gore. Okay. I guess he didn't have the ring on. He's fucked. So if you liked Outlaw of, Outlaw of Gore, put a ring on it. That's all what, what they're saying yes. there, you know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was Outlaw of Gore. I I, I I'm not, I'm gonna say my feelings for the last, obviously. But Kyle, what did you think of Outlaw of Gore when he gave him one to ten? Three. Not Three. as good as original Gore, but yeah, you, know, you took Paul L. Smith out. A lot of less hip tosses in this one. I gotta I gotta deduct two. Two stars, so I'm giving it a three out of ten. Fair enough. Uh, Cameron. Uh, I don't. I don't remember what I gave the first one. I think I gave it five or six. I gotta. Yeah, 
I want to match Kyle's three. It, it definitely needs a couple points taken off of it. It had a lot more Jack Palance, which I enjoyed, but there was just no no plot. It was a plotless movie, and it just didn't make much sense. It had a bit. It looked like it had a much bigger budget, so I'll give it that. But yeah, I can't recommend. Can't recommend. This one did have the razzle jazzle dance company, though. Yes, I've seen that. I see that. <laughs> <laughs> um. Yeah, I'm, this is below average on your swords and sandals. I'm going to give it a, a, a three or possibly a four. I haven't decided, so I'm going to go 3.5 on this one. Yeah, like um, if you've watched all your Death Stalkers, I guess you got some gore. You got some gore. Yeah. Uh, costumes are better in this one, obviously. The headgear is insane. Uh, oh, they upped the headgear game in this one big time. Yeah. You got, you yeah, got the, more. The headgear in this movie deserves a six. Yes. <laughs> More good-looking women for you to look at, and snot is in this movie, of course. Uh, but still, 3.5 out of, out of 10. Uh, not great, you know, but it, it is what it is. Um, it's a sword and sandals one from 1987. It's a, it's canon, you know, so it's made it real cheap, but, you know, whatever. Here we are. I'm going to kick it to ba -ba 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 -ba. Cameron. Uh, tell the folks where they can find you what you got coming up. Uh, well, um, I'm at Cinema Degeneration. You can find us on uh, Podbean, Stitcher, uh, Spotify, Pandora, you name it. We're there. Uh, I have a new, whole new month. This is what, May 1st, uh, starting tomorrow, uh, I am doing an all Rucker Hauer month, uh, the Rucker Hauer Appreciation Month, and we will be dropping an episode on Nighthawks starting tomorrow and then probably The Hitcher by the end of the week. Fuck so yeah, Wolfgar, baby. Yeah, long live Walthgar, man. Good, 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 good movie. But uh, that's what I got coming up. I got about nine, I think uh, nine, count them, maybe ten episodes of that coming up. So, yeah, look forward to a whole month of Rucker. We're doing Osterman weekend with you, right? Yeah, I was going to I was gonna talk to you and uh, Lee about scheduling that here soon. Yep. That's, what, that's what we're doing with them, our, our, our partner at the at the last call of Torchies. Osterman, awesome. Osterman Weekend, mustachioed Craig T. Nelson in that movie. <laughs> Gotta love it. But yeah, we're doing a whole bunch of uh, Rucker stuff. We got the, the Hitcher, of course, you know, Blade Runner. Got to do some uh, Mr. Stitch, r Rarity, and then uh, probably uh, a couple couple deep cuts, Wedlock, amongst others. I remember Wedlock. The Jugger. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. D definitely. <laughs> Kyle. You yeah. see, you have multiple episodes to put out of this show. Tell uh, them some... As soon as I find the hosting site that will host us, I have multiple episodes going up. Um, I think the newest episode, we talked about Puma Man, starring Donald Pleasance. Um, I'm watching <coughs> Lone Wolf McQuaid for the first time. What? And, yeah, and we are probably 13 or 14 Amityville movies deep in our... Amityville complete series watch. Well, and uh, be, I think they have since we last watched an Amityville movie. We do one every week. I think there's been two new ones announced. <laughs> so we got in space and in the hood coming. Well, Kyle, if you can't find any any other options, I'm sure I could talk to uh, the major domo oh. at Legion if you guys want to, you know, join up with us. You know, possibility. I gotta, I gotta figure out how hosting works now. That's not free, where I used to do it. Well, they, they, they host you, and we'll talk about it. Man. Hell yeah, yeah, for sure, man. Yeah, my stuff you can all find on LegionPodcast.com for the most part under the Butcher Shop label. So if you're going to your podcatcher, go look for the Butcher Shop, and go subscribe. You'll get any show that I do, including this one, Cinnamon Beef Podcast. Uh, which we're rolling with the, the the eighth year anniversary stuff, doing all CRISPR guests all the time, but not really because we're doing Cripple Theater in the middle there and some other stuff, and um, just some, some goodies for you guys to listen to. Lots of guest stars on that one. Um, Last Call of Torches with myself, of course, with Cameron and Lee Russell, Walter Hill, in full effect on that show. Next one you'll you'll hear of that should be the Crossroads show, and on your Patreon feed. We're doing uh, Walter Hill's directed Tales from the Crypt episodes. So, that's Cutting Cards, which is a good one. Of course, the the William I think Sadler... That's arguably the best one. Yeah. W William Sadler's uh, pilot episode, A Man Called Death, and I forget the third one, but he did three of them. 
Um, did, did he do the one with Larry Drake as Santa Claus? No. He did the one it where... Was, where it was Zemeckis, wasn't it? It was Zemeckis, I think, yeah. Okay. He did the one where William Sadler is the executioner who loses his job and starts to kill people on the street. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I remember that one. God, there's so many good of those episodes I haven't seen forever. Um, Burning for Springwood, I'm going to get in contact with those guys. If you guys haven't seen... They announced them to be on the screen box, but now those same quality episodes are on Tubi to watch, so you're not going to pay for it. So go look for those on Tubi, Freddy's Nightmares. If you guys want to watch along with us, we have to close out the first season with the next episode. Um, I'm forgetting one. Oh, Untapped Gems is on the Intestinal 42 Podcast Network. Heather is currently in Ireland right now on her vacation, so... I'd say in about three or four weeks, we'll have a new episode to you guys. We're going to get two out there you can listen to right now, in which we did Don't Tor- Torture a Duckling on one, and Buckaroo Banzai on the second one. So, <laughs> yeah. My favorite movie of all time. Good times, no man. No matter where you go, there you are. There you are, man. The good the good doctor, Dr. Peter Weller in that movie, you know. Um, that's it for this. Uh, next episode of this that you should hear will be, uh, we're doing a Cat 3 Hong Kong film, I think, next, because I've been teasing it since forever. Uh, it's a bootleg Terminator movie with hot chicks doing martial arts and shit. Uh, Robo Tricks is a thing that's going to happen on this show, so look for that. Nice. And you're, you're, yeah, you're, I've, I've never seen it. So oh, it's fucking good. wild, man. Right on. And I think after that, we're going to do, do The Visitor, because that was teased, too, a while ago. So. Space Jesus. Space Jesus, yes, Space indeed. Space Jesus. Space Jesus. <laughs> praise, spray, pra- praise, space, Jeebus. But uh, this has been your two drink venom commentaries, and thanks for listening. And we'll see you next time. Later, folks. Goodbye. <laughs>